Welcome back to Mr. Hassan's math channel. Um, I'm now answering question number four from the P, uh, Pure Mathematics P4 um, International A Level Edexcel June 2021 exam. This question here is about integration by substitution. So it tells us to use algebraic in integration and the substitution u equals the square root of x to find the exact value of the integral between the limits of 1 and 4 of 10 over 5x plus 2x times x uh, root x uh, with respect to x. Write your answer in the form 4 lin a over b where a and b are integers to be found. Solutions relying on entirely on calculator technology are not acceptable. Okay, so there's eight marks to this question. So first of all, we want to use substitution. Now, the way I like to set up substitutions is as follows. I always like to write down first, finding the integral of y with respect to x. That's our goal, where y is the function that they gave us 10 over 5x plus, uh, I'm going to write this as 2x to the power of 3 over 2. Because when you multiply x to the power of 1 by x to the power of half, you get x to the power of 3 over 2. I'm writing like that just to make it easier for us when we maybe have to integrate and stuff. Okay, so um, actually, I think I will leave it like this because we have root x there. So leave it like this for now and see what happens when we start using the substitution. That's probably better, okay, because you're going to replace the root x with u, so that might be better to leave it like that for now. Now, we've got to use the substitution, substitution with u. So what we're going to do is we're going to write dx here. So we write dx du, du. That's equivalent to y, the integral of y with respect to x. If you put divided by du times by du, they will cancel out, basically, and you're left with the integral of y dx. You can think of it like that, all right? And here we have to have the limits in terms of u. Okay, the limits have to be in terms of u. So if we now take our y, so we have y equals 10 over 5x plus 2x root x. And we know that u is equal to root x. That means that u squared is equal to x. If you just square both sides. So what I can do is I can replace the x with u squared. And I can replace the u with the root x, sorry, with u. So this y will then become 10 over, and so instead of 5x, I can put 5u squared. And then plus, instead of x, I can put u squared, so that's 2x becomes 2u squared, and root x is u, so 2u two, squared times u. So you end up with y equals 10 over, and this is 5u squared, plus 2u cubed. So that's what y is in terms of u. And we, we need to find what dx du is. So we have, d, we have u is equal to the square root of x. So u squared is equal to x. So dx, if I do dx du, that's going to give me dx du, sorry. That's going to give me 2u. If I di differentiate this with respect um, to u, I'm going to get 2u. So dx du is equal to 2u. So I can replace this with 2u. And then I've got du, and I also have to change my limits. I know that um, here, when x equals 4, u is equal to the square root of 4, which is 2. And when x equals 1, u is equal to the square root of 1, which is 1. Okay, so now I know that u1 and u2, okay, are basically 2 and 1. So now I can fill this whole thing in. So I'll have the integral between the limits of 2 and 1 of y which is now 10 over 5u squared plus 2u cubed times dx du which is 2u so multiplied by 2u and with respect to u okay so that's y dx du du and these limits are now in terms of u now integrating that will give me the exact value of what i'm looking for so let's just simplify this a little bit first. What I can do here is I can first take out 10 times 2, which is 20. So I'll have here the limits of 2 and 1. 10 times 2 is 20. I'll write that outside. It's like a product here of the thing. And you're going to have u over. And I'm going to take out u squared as common here. So I'll have u squared times 5 plus 2u du. Now that cancels with that. So you're left with... Uh, 20 
limits one and two of one over u times five plus two u integrate that with respect to u so here we have basically a product of linear factors in the denominator so we can split this up into two separate fractions so i'm going to use partial fractions to split this up so i'm just going to take this part first and i'm going to rewrite this as now this is a proper fraction because the numerator is linear and the denominator is quadratic so it's uh, the numerator is of an order less than the the denominator so it will split up into something of the form some constant over u plus some constant over 5 plus 2u so our aim is to find what a and b is and then i can write this as two separate fractions and integrate so to find a and b here what i can do is multiply throughout by u times 5 plus 2u which will leave me with one on this side if i multiply this term by u times 5 plus 2u i'm left with a times 5 plus 2u because the u cancels out and if I multiply this term by u plus 5 plus 2u, the 5 plus 2u is cancelled out, leaving me, with me, leaving me with b times u. So I can now find the values of a and b. Okay, so for example, if I compare the constants, on this side I have 1. On this side, the only constant I have is 5a, is a times 5, which is 5a. Everything else will have a u term in it, therefore a is going to be 1 over 5. And if I compare the u terms, on this side I have 0u, on this side I'll have a times 2u, which is 2a, and b, b times u, which is b. So those are the u terms. So I know a is 1 fifth, so I can say from here that 0 is equal to 2 over 5 plus b. So therefore b is equal to minus 2 fifths. So I can say that this is therefore equal to um, 1 over 5u. Um, minus 2 over 5 times 5 plus 2u. Okay, so now I'm ready to integrate this. So this is going to be now be written as 20 times 2 and 1 here. So I can take out the 5 as common, because this is a 5 that's common in the denominator. I'll have 1 over u minus 2 over 5 plus 2u with respect to you. I've taken out that 5. So that will now give me 4 times this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that to the next page and continue. So okay, so this gives me oops, this gives me 4 2 1 okay, and then I can I'll just write this like this for now. Now I can integrate this. Now everything is ready to be integrated and then we can substitute these values in and we should get our answer so when we integrate something of this form remember we cannot make this an enumerator because you'll have to the power of minus one as we will here so we have to use the the lin so this is now going to become a square bracket because i've started to integrate so this is the lin of the modulus of u remember we have to write it as a modulus of u minus and you're going to have two times the lin of the modulus of 5 plus 2u okay but then i have to divide by the differential of what's inside here which is 2 so that becomes 2 and then i have my limits 2 and 1 so hopefully this will give us the answer that we require so this is four times now i'm going to use lin of 2 so that's lin of the modulus of 2 minus this 2 cancel with this so you got the lin of the modulus of 5 plus 4, which is 9, minus, and then I've got 1 into here, which is the lin of the modulus of 1, minus the lin of the modulus of 5 plus 2, which is 7. Okay, and now we can continue. So you have 4 times, now this is the lin of 2 minus the lin of 9. We don't need the modulus because these are positive now. Minus the lin of 1, which is 0, plus the lin of 7. Okay, so this becomes 0. So you're left with 4 times, let me just put these two together. The lin of 2 plus the lin of 7 minus the lin of 9. The lin of 1 is equal to 0, so that goes. So now I can use my law of logarithms where lin of something plus the lin of something is a, a product and when you subtract it's a 
um, quotient. So this is going to be the lin of 2 times 7 divided by 9. So we're left with the answer as 4 times the lin of 14 over 9. And I think that was the 4 times the lin of A over B where A and B are integers to be found. So it looks like we've got the answer here. 4 times the lin of 14 over 9 where f these are integers to be found. So there's the answer to that question. Okay, so that's the answer for number 4 um, using substitution. Now other questions which are um, about integration, about sorry, other questions from this particular paper, which is June 2021, can be found by clicking this link. Other questions about integration from P4, um, integration by substitution, can be found in this link over here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. At the top of the page will be a, a card which should have shown up during the during the video, which takes you to another P4 paper. And in the description of the video, you'll find links to other papers that I've done other units, P1, P2, P3, S1, M1, also some IG papers, um, IGCSE papers. Thank you for watching. See you soon.